Hi, this is Jeff. Today I want to go over one of the coolest features of Postman. Now, if you're not familiar with Postman, it's a desktop app where you can do it online, but it allows you to build and test out APIs. So you can do HTTP gets, HTTP posts. It's an amazing tool that here at Airshare we use on a daily basis. But the really cool feature I want to dive into is generating code that you can use in your app from Postman based on your tests. And all the links we're gonna talk about today will also be in the description down below. So the first thing, let's head over to postman.com. You can download the app for free. And once you do, go ahead and launch uh, Postman. And you can go ahead and just create a brand new workspace with the new uh, project and just call it post. And you're gonna select post out of the get put Let's select post and you're going to enter in Airshare's URL. We're going to use Airshare as a test case for actually sending a tweet out. And we're going to see how that can be done and then how we can generate code from it. So it's hbsapp.airshare.com slash API slash post. We're going to in headers set the content type to application slash JSON and the authorization to bear. And we're going to get the API key for that in a second. So let's actually head over to Airshare itself. And you just go to app.airshare.com, sign up for free. And after you sign up, you go to the social accounts and just click Twitter. You can also do a different social account. We're going to do Twitter today. You'll automatically link your Twitter account and then head over to API key. And you're going to copy this, your actual API key. That'll be used for doing the authorization. Head back over to Postman and paste that API key you just post, uh, copied right next to bearer in authorization. All right, next we're gonna actually send a post. Usually I like to do under body, do raw, because we like to, to type it in rather than a lot of the other things you form data, form you are encoded, but today we'll just do raw. You can get all the different examples in our docs at docs.airshare.com endpoints, just head over to post, request examples, and you see right here is node examples, Python examples, PHP, etc. But heading back to Postman, we're gonna write something very simple. Let's do double curly braces, a po post text, and then call this, this is an amazing post, and gonna set the platforms To Twitter, since that's the social network that we set up. Okay, so now we just, so what we've done so far, we've set a header with our bearer and API key. It's application JSON content type, and we have a body, simple body of JSON of a post, and this is an amazing post. Let's put an exclamation next to it. And platforms, and we're just going to do Twitter if you also have additional ones, such as Facebook. You can also add it. And let's do a send. Okay. And here is the status. So this is the return. You do raw, or would you like to always do pretty? See, it's success. It sent it. Here's the actual URL that was posted to Twitter, the ID, ref, and here is the post. Okay. So that's using Postman to actually test the endpoint of the API call. But that doesn't help you if you actually need to build your application. So how do we generate code from it? Well, just on the right-hand side here, you'll notice the little code icon. Just click it, and suddenly you'll have code snippets of what you actually entered right here in, lang in over a dozen languages. Everything from C Sharp, Dart, Java, JavaScript, Node, PHP, Python, all these different ones. And you just select any one. You want PHP? Switch to PHP code. You want Python with the HTTP client? There you go. So all these different versions are right here. So let's head back and let's go back to the node request. We're going to do example in node. But you can see it has the module or the package request. It has a post because we have a post here. It has the endpoint that we have there we entered entered, it has the authorization with the bearer, and it has the actual body of the post that we're sending raw. 
And here's the great thing is, if we change this to a get, right here, it changes the get. So it directly reflects what we have in the code. All right, let's actually do a copy of this by clicking the little copy icon on the right. And let's now head over to a command prompt and we're gonna actually launch Visual Studio Code, enter in this code and watch it run. So the first thing, because we are using the node package request, we do have to install it. So npm i for install request, it installs it. Let's now do open up Visual Studio Code. And next thing we want to do is let's paste the code that we had right there. All right, it has everything that we have. Let's change the actual text of the post or it'll say we're trying to do a duplicate. Second test of a post. And let's also, for the response, let's make the formatting a bit better so we can see it. So JSON is going to stringify it. The body, null two, they'll make nice formatting. Everything looks great. Let's save this. And let's head back to our command prompt and actually run it. Our test. There we go. So we can see right here the status is success, no errors. Second test of post, so everything worked great. So it's amazing, with Postman, with the code generating, you can quickly go from testing an endpoint to actually having usable code that you can build your app against. Thank you very much. If you have any questions on it, please add it to the comments below.